Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football No Huddle Edition. Four box, pick your team, number four. You can see on the top camera right here, both stacks right here of four. So one of these stacks are going to be break four and the last stack will be break five, which is only, as of now, only one team away from filling up. So let's knock that out. Big thanks to everybody here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. So we'll, since there's only two stacks of four left, we're going to select a die. We're going to select that one. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this we will save for break number five. So I've marked all of those five so you know they're all from the same case. And if you hear the basketball game on the background, you might have heard that Jason Team had an incredible third quarter. We just need to do one filler break to knock out 17-18 Panini Prism Basketball Blaster Edition. We can go hunt for uh, some Jason Tatum rookies if you want to a little bit later tonight. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Good luck. Let's take a look at the uh, schedule for this weekend. Chicago at Atlanta. Just straight up, who does everyone have to win? Chicago? Ted says Chicago. Ted did go 16-0 in our pool last week. So he's, he's, he's the NFL wizard. Julio Jones is hurt. Raiders ACDC also says Bears. Yeah, I guess I'm leaning Bears too. Atlanta is trash. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but they can put up points in bunches though. That first week against Seattle, they put up, they, they made the scoreline respectable by the end of the game. I know in garbage time, but I mean, that was only one special teams mistake in week two against the Cowboys. Are they not, are they not closer to being good? I mean, they could easily be 2-0, oh, no? <laughs> Just as easily as they are 0-2 oh, now? Mm. They look so good on paper, too. Maybe they gotta they gotta redo that coaching staff. Maybe maybe the Quinn and Dirk Cutter combo is not. But yeah, Aaron G's pointing out that Trubisky's trash too. So so take the under on this game. We're looking at no Julio Jones. Both teams trash. Fourteen nine will be a, whoever whoever gets to fourteen first. What about Rams at Buffalo? Straight up, who do we got? Rams at Buffalo. All right, we've got a rookie, Henry Ruggs. Unique parallel here. Nice rookie. For my Raiders, that goes to Kevin, who's got my Raiders. Raider says Bills. I, I kind of like the I kind of like the Rams. Kind of like the Rams. At Buffalo, I don't know, second road game in a row. That's always tricky. There's Phil Sims autograph for the Giants. But I think the Rams are kind of sneaky good. I think Aaron Donald could have a really nice game chasing around Josh Allen. Disrupt his momentum a little bit. Nice Phil Sims for uh, Arthur Hackett and the New York Football Giants. Josh Allen is balling, but has anyone even pressured him in the first two weeks? 
You know, if if I had five seconds to pass, maybe I maybe I'd be in the NFL. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would not. There's Jarvis Landry to fifty. Jarvis Landry purple going to Matthew and the Browns. Dwight Freeney Silver. Kyle Fuller. Second half right here. What about Washington football team at Cleveland? Washington at Cleveland. There's Chase Claypool to 20. Nice low number on that one for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Washington at Buffalo or at Cleveland. I want to say Cleveland, but I want to say Cleveland, but I f I feel like this is this is a Washington game here. I don't know. This is a big test for for uh, Baker Mayfield, though. Yeah, Jernigan also thinks Washington pulls it. It's a big test for Baker Mayfield, though. It's in Ohio, yes. Oh, breakout game for Dwayne Haskins back home, says Sean Jaspi. There's Kyle Rudolph. Wow, I didn't even think about that angle. Yeah, and I I, I feel like I feel like Baker will will feel himself too much after last week. And then have a down game this week. Like he'll just be a little overconfident. Like he thinks he shut up the haters last week, but I don't I don't know. It's just one game. Alright, interesting. Alright, Tennessee at Minnesota. What does everyone have? Minnesota? I think I, I heard Teddy grumble, no way. I think Minnesota looks terrible. I think Titans pull it off. I think it's going to be an ugly game. I think Vikings defense are missing a lot of people. Yeah, Jernigan saying Minnesota D is bad. Pat saying Minnesota Vikings defense is terrible. I think they lost like Anthony Barr. They lost a couple of key players. I think that's one of the big reasons why. And Kirk Cousins just hasn't looked right. Justin Herbert, look at that. Justin Herbert in that mosaic bubbles, unique, exclusive pattern. Base card right there in his Oregon shirt. Going to the Chargers, Rich. This should be a variation, right? Him in his college gear? Or are they all in his college gear? Is he always in his college gear? Or is that, or is that indeed a variation? But that's pretty nice. I mean... He somehow orchestrated a lung puncture for Titan. No, I'm kidding, but I don't know. Who knows? Somehow, somehow he got that got that surprise starting job. Hey, what do you got? Carolina versus the uh, Chargers. We're not at that game yet. I just want to hear you say it. Carolina at Chargers? I think Chargers win. No, no Christian McCaffrey. Justin Herbert's a wild card. You know, I mean, Bridgewater is great. He can sling it around, but he still he still has Joey Bosa chasing him around the field. Who's he Who's he going to throw it to? So, I like Teddy Bridgewater a lot, but losing Christian McCaffrey, I think, is going to hurt a lot. And their defense isn't that great. No, Tyrod Taylor not starting. Justin Herbert with his second start in a row. So Tyrod Taylor, apparently, he hurt his... I'm trying to show you. He hurt his ribs. That's where your ribs are, ladies and gentlemen. So he hurt his ribs, maybe even cracked his ribs or something like that. So he was practicing, practicing, practicing. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Right? But, you know, he's a tough guy. He's like, I'm going to play. 
You know, but and what usually when you get a I don't know some most of you may know this, but when you get a pain one of those quarter zone shots or a pain killing shot, you got to do it right before the game. That's what everyone does, right? And players line up with the doctor's office. They they get their shot. They play their game. You know. So the doctor applying that shot, you're supposed to put it directly into that rib area. I think there was an. I, this story has not come out yet, but I think. There's some speculation that there was some a problem. Maybe someone moved really quickly, or maybe the doctor was not right, or Tarad Taylor maybe got spooked, or I don't know what happened. But the uh, the doctor missed, and apparently punctured his lung. And then during warmups, during warmups, Tarad Taylor was like, "I'm having a little trouble breathing. <laughs> My chest hurts." I'm running around and I, I've got a, you know, I feel worse than I did before with my bruised ribs. So they, so they scratched him pretty much before the coin toss. They scratched him. Eventually they sent him to the hospital. Eventually they found out you got a punctured lung. Doctors like rest up. They, that's just, you can't fix that. It's just your body just has to heal that hole in your lung. <laughs> Justin Herbert started last week and then. It looked pretty good, actually. It looked really good. If it wasn't for a ferocious comeback by, by Patrick Mahomes right here, the Chargers might have won that game. You to the doctor if it was negligence? I don't know how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Then why wasn't why wasn't some assistant doing it then? Why don't the Chargers have that on staff? That's just more Chargers idiocy then. Well then why aren't there more more lung punctures then? See that I don't I don't buy that argument. I think they I think they inject dudes all the time and and someone messed up. <laughs> There's Cole Komet right here. Bears, David Callender with that. But the ne negligence, malpractice, Ray, that's 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 a difficult thing. Like, if especially if there's no witnesses, if this was just a private, like he's just in a back, he's on a trainer's table. There's no one there. To, I mean, that's more of a he said he said situation at this point. That's hard to hard to hard to do. Then you're pretty much you're suing the team. There's Dick Buckus to 75. So are, if you're suing a team doctor, you know, like that that gets tricky too. Because yeah, I, I did I did see that Ray. Uh, I think Pat and and, and Jernigan. I saw I saw Pat McAfee actually tweet out that not too like soon after that was announced. He was like, hey, he talked he talked to some doctors and some people, and he's like. Yeah, it's a possibility because, you know, I'm sure ribs get bruised all the time and injections are made in that area all the time. And apparently it is a possibility. Like, it's not it's not like a surprise. Like, it is a known possibility that that could happen. But but the but the fact is that this is the first time I've ever heard this story. Jalen Hurts NFL debut. All those uh, Joe Burrows, of course, going to Brian Croft and the Bengals. We haven't found a really nice one yet, but a couple base ones are all right. There's Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. Rhea, he came in for a couple trick plays. So, yeah, Joe Harris says, I know doctors always get women to sign something before they administer like an epidural during birth. I don't know what... See, when it's a team doctor, that gets tricky, right? Because they're working for the team. They're not working for the player, per se. This is not a. This is not Tyrod Taylor's personal doctor. This is the team's doctor. That doctor is representing the team. The team's going to protect the doctor. There may be, I don't know. I think it'll be an interesting. I think it'll be something interesting that we're going to see coming out. Um, coming out about how. How organizations handle those kinds of things. I think it'll just be pretty interesting to see what what gets revealed.
Now, all card chip in this, folks. Just FYI. There's Steve Young to 50. Correct. Yeah, if there's lots of wages involved, yeah, then there could be some sort of malpractice. I was kind of ha only half joking with Sean Jasper, who's a Chargers fan, the, the other day when that happened. I was like, well, the Chargers should just sign Tyrod Taylor right away. <laughs> sign into a 10-year deal. Make him a Charger for life. Because, you know, you can't really lose your job due to injury, right? Maybe in sports, but... You can't get uh, you can't get fired. I think for loss of wages. Well, he, he, here's the thing, Pat. This is his last year. This is a contract year for him, so there's going to be lost wages, right? If he doesn't play games, doesn't show off what he can do, you think who's going to sign him next season? NFL debut to a tag of Viola. Dolphins, but I think I, th I think legally there you know there's he can argue for future lost future wages. This is what happens when like you know you get hit by a truck. You, if you get hit by a UPS truck, you know, and you can be like, hey, what you can sue for not only damages and the actual injuries themselves, you can say, hey, there's future injury. That injury prevents me from future wages. You can sue for lost wages. To a tag of Viola, that goes to Ryan and the Dolphins. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he does. I mean, he she should know enough about torts to yeah. Tom Brady for the Buccaneers, Rhea. Cam Akers. Don't be surprised if Jimmy G takes Mullen or Mullen takes Jimmy G's job. Ray saying, interesting. But you got to argue that Jimmy that Jimmy G's the quarterback of the future. Why give Nick Mullins more opportunities? Like he's better than Nick Mullins. Wow, Celtics have a 14-point lead now. Looks like they're not ready to go home yet. There's Jeff Okuda in that special uh, no huddle refractor pattern, the bubbles pattern, disco pattern. Jeff Okuda, Lions, EA. Two boxes to go. Um, what game do we leave? Oh, uh, I think we talked a little Vegas, New England. I'm a homer. I'm definitely thinking Vegas has a chance to beat, beat the Patriots. What about... Well, since we're on the subject, what about Niners at uh, New York? New York Giants. Niners coach not happy about the sticky field there. Are they less aggressive, maybe? No Raheem Mostert. No no uh, Nick Bosa. No Solomon Thomas. No Raheem Mo Did I say Raheem Mostert? Jimmy G's out for the week. Now, New York doesn't have Saquon. Which is a big thing. Their defense is still terrible. <laughs> this might not be a very good game. I don't. I just. I don't know how aggressive the Niners are going to be on 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 a game where they admittedly have hated the field and the field conditions. I think Giants. I think maybe just if we're just talking straight up. I think Giants maybe have the edge. I forgot what I picked in my pool, by the way. <laughs> I may be going off of all of my picks. Yeah. Uh, a Dave uh, saying also saying total mess of a game. Giants and Niners, yeah, that might not be a watchable game. Uh, what about since just straight up Cincinnati at Philadelphia, Bengals at Eagles, straight up. What do you think? It's the second to last of the early games. Sean Jaspi says, if Philly doesn't win that game, they don't deserve to win any games. Yeah, this is this is a, this is a big moment for for the Eagles. Raiders ACDC says Cincy. A Dave says 
Bengals. Is it a Dave, a Dave? It says Bengals. Burrow gets his first W. Jernigan says, Joe Howard is on the bird side. He says, bird team over cat team. A Dave. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm getting that right. So, yeah. We got a lot of Eagles fans here, so I got to watch out. There's Isaiah Simmons, rookie mosaic for the Browns. Yeah, I think I think I'm leaning, I'm leaning Bengals here too. From a uh, from a line perspective, sorry, not the Browns. That's Clemson's orange. Uh, Cardinals. Carlos with the Cardinals gets the Isaiah Simmons. Burrow breakout game. Dave saying. Yeah, I'm leaning. Well, I definitely have financial interest in Cincinnati with plus the points. I like that a lot. Correct. This is pick your team four. But I think they got a chance to win. Another old school New York football giant, Carl Banks. Adam's saying, Wentz has sucked. You draft him in fantasy and the man's just straight garbage fire. <laughs> and that, Arthur Hackett with the Giants. That offensive line is not very good. I don't think, I don't think that offensive line is doing him any favors. NFL debut to uh, I don't think that defense has been as sharp as, as they should be. You know what I mean? Dolphins, that'll be for Ryan L., NFL debut, Henry Ruggs in that disco pattern. Dwight Freeney for the Blue Horseshoes to 75. And a base to a tag of Viola. All right, what about uh, Evan? We're getting to that game. The next game, the last, late, or the last early game that I have on, according to the ESPN calendar, is uh, Houston at Pittsburgh. Straight up, who do we got? Pittsburgh, says Sean Jaspi. I Straight up, I say Pittsburgh, too. I think Pittsburgh might even cover the points that they're laying. Blue Horseshoes, James Hanna. Henry Ruggs for Kevin. Deshaun Watson got a new deal, but I don't know if Bill O'Brien does him any favors. Steelers says Jernigan. No, Adam says Houston. He thinks that it's a, it's a soft spot for the Steelers. Ray Rice, Adam. Ray Rice, Adam. That that Adam. I mean, could I mean there there are there are down spots. The Tomlin teams have 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 had had down spots before. They'll Tomlin can can get a team can get a beat-up Steelers team to get up for a game and win when they shouldn't. And sometimes they lose when they should have won. There's John Elway to 75. But I think I'm going Steelers. I just, I just, can't, I just can't trust the Bill O'Brien team. Broncos with that Elway card, that's going to go to EA. Along with all those KJ Hamlers. Let's try to find a, a, a parallel KJ Hamler. Steve Largent, 31 out of 50 for the Seahawks. There's a Justin Herbert NFL debut. All right, uh, late games. What about New York at Indianapolis? <laughs> That's not going to be a good game. Do we want to talk about that? Colts, right? Colts are laying a lot of points, but just straight up, yeah, Colts. No way New York wins this game. All right, we talked Carolina at Chargers at L.A., uh, what about Tampa Bay, the later of the late games? Tampa Bay at Denver. Another Justin Herbert for the Chargers, by the way, Rich. Right? No Drew Locke, no Cortland Sutton, no Vaughn Miller. That, that's kind of a beat-up team. I think Philip Lindsay might be banged up. Melvin Gordon might go for 200 yards in a losing effort. Yeah, it's got to be Bucks. Everyone's saying Bucks. All right, what about uh, Lions at Cardinals? 
Here's another Justin Herbert. Lions at Cardinals. Lions? I feel like the first week, they just missed a DeAndre Swift catch away from being 1-0. and Then everyone thought they were a kind of a, here's a Darrington Evans Silver, by the way. That goes to the Titans, Robert G. Then in week two, a lot of, a lot of sharps, alleged sharps, are saying that, oh, you know, there's Denzel Mims. The Lions were kind of a sexy pick with the points last week against Green Bay. So now, now what in week three? <laughs> Galladay's back. There's Denzel Mims. Looks like everyone's saying Cardinals. Jernigan says cards, but I think the lines will keep it closer than people are expecting. All right, so I don't know if I'd really go Cardinals. They're laying some points. I don't know if I'd do that. But, but then again, I don't know if I'd take the points with Lions either. No, Andrew, we, we're, we're, we're probably breaking until 5 or 6 in the morning. Sean Jaspi will be, will be coming on live for late night tonight. Could be all night long. Jalen Ragor showed a little, some sparks of, of looking pretty good. Eagles with that one. That'll be Rhea. There's Tom Brady right there. Everyone thinks he's going to beat the Denver Broncos in Denver. I think they will. I think every, every game he's knocking off a little more rust, getting used to his teammates. All right. Um, the late, late game, the latest late game was Detroit at Arizona and Dallas at Seattle. So before Sunday primetime. Dallas at Seattle. Yeah, we're not booked until 5 or 6 in the morning, Andrew. So, yeah, it'll, that'll fill at some point. That'll fill and break at some point. Break schedule's in the chat. I think we got plenty of time. Dallas at Seattle. No one has Dallas at Seattle thoughts? Unless everyone's lagging behind? No, Jernigan says, Seattle in a shootout. I could see that. I think last week's win does does, does a lot for the Cowboys is uh, the Cowboys is confidence. I think. But I think Seattle looks a little different. They lost. They they won or lost a lot of close close games last year. Now those games aren't so close. I think I feel like. I feel like they're throwing the ball a lot more, which makes them a little a little different against. You know, last year they were running the ball a lot, but now I think with DK Metcalf and Lockett healthy and DK Metcalf with a with a full season under his belt, it looks a little more dynamic in the air. Pat can't bet against Russ. That's the other thing. It's hard to bet against Russ. Raiders ATDC says Hawks. Adam says Dallas, big Zeke game. A more accurate deep ball? Yeah. How do you even? Like if you if you had to have one throw an accurate deep ball, who would you? But how 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 do you even like measure how? You can be let less accurate with DK. That's true. Your margin of error is greater with DK Metcalf. So you're saying that Patrick Mahomes has the most accurate deep ball, more accurate deep ball than Russell Wilson? Exactly. Okay, I can buy that. I guess. You know what I mean? I don't know, but you see, you see, Russell Wilson drop passes right into Tyler Lockett's bread basket, and Tyler Lockett's not that big. He's not a big old dude. You think he's is he bigger than Tyree Kill? No. Tyler. You're looking up Tyler Lockett. All right, I'm looking up Tyree Kill. All right, Tyree Kill, five foot ten. And how heavy is Tyler Lockett? 
Tyreek Hill, 185. Come on, get out of here, Sean. They're about the same speed. I think the, what's uh, Tyreek Hill, 429, 40? And I don't know what Tyler Lockett's 40 is. Tyler Lockett's 4-4-40. Wow, Tyreek Hill's a 4-2-40? Jeez. I mean, like a 4-4-40 is pretty great for Tyler Lockett. He's, yeah, they're pretty much the same player. Leon Lett, Dallas Cowboys, Daniel Barnes. Arthur, who's a Cowboys fan, says Dallas by five. Arthur, not biased at all. This is like... Joe, this is like me taking the Vegas Raiders money line in New England <laughs> at plus at plus one seventy five or something like that. <laughs> There's Gardner Minshew to fifty. Homer picks. There's Gardner Minshew for the Jags. John McCall. There's Michael Thomas Pro Bowl. I don't know college, so I can't answer that. All right, Sunday night primetime game, really quick before we're done this break. Green Bay at New Orleans, Sunday night primetime on NBC. Who does everyone have? I say Green Bay. Uh, I think Tyler Lock or Tyler Lock. I think Michael Thomas has been uh, ruled out for the game. And I think Drew Brees is, is in that sort of sort of uh, Peyton Manning Broncos noodle arm phase. There's Jared Goff. 13 out of 20. Green Bay by 9, says Arthur. See, Arthur's with me. Ray Rice says no or New Orleans. Oh, no, New Orleans. No Adams or and, and Thomas sucks. Ray is saying. Drewby says Saints. I'm going Packers. All right, 13 out of 20 Rams. That'll be for Patrick Cologne. Yeah, Raiders, Raiders ATDC saying Noodle Arm Breeze can't keep up with Rodgers. Drew thinks, Drew thinks there's a trip on his shoulder, on, on, on Drew Breeze's shoulder, with everyone doubting his ability, and he's going to bounce back. There's Cooper Cup to 75. And Joe Burrow base. All right, and the last game before we finish this break. Uh, Kansas City at Baltimore is the Monday night game. I guess I'll be here tomorrow. We can keep talking about this again tomorrow. See if anybody's minds have changed. But Joe Burrow going to Brian Croft and the Bengals. There's Cooper Cup going to the Rams. That'll be for Patrick. Um, Adam says Chiefs by two scores. Jernigan says Chiefs. Arthur says Chiefs by two, 26-24. Drew's got his Chiefs. Played terribly last week. Think they're going to bounce back with a strong performance this week. Carter's fan John Sean Jaspi says they didn't have a terrible game. They just ran to a great team. There it is. <laughs> oh boy. Got beat by a rookie quarterback. <laughs> they, they were definitely game planning for garbage Tyrod Taylor. Instead they got wild card Justin Herbert. I could see where they would screw up my defense too. Defense sucks. <laughs> Sean Jaspi coming up, nine o'clock Pacific, twelve AM Eastern. You can uh you can discuss football with him and his Chargers. For my Raiders, there's Brian Edwards. Mosaic goes to Kevin, who's got my Raiders. Then we got Derek Brown is our last card of the day, last rookie Mosaic exclusive disco pattern of the day. Carolina Panthers, that'll go to David Callender. And there you have it, folks. Here's a quick little recap. Ravens by a field goal, says Sergeant Squid. For the record, I'm on the Ravens minus three and a half, and I and I so obviously I think they'll win straight up as well. All right, so some good cards here. Obviously, no huddle is is, is more about the the parallels and the base cards and the great ability of these cards more than anything. So there you go, and plenty of other nice cards that we have set aside here as well that'll be top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out. 
I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking and uh, and talking some sports with us. We'll see you next time. Stick with us all NFL season long. We like we love these conversations. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.